What an exciting day. Taking a road trip. Going to Blick Art Supply Store. Driving two hours to get there. It's the closest one. Got my coffee. Ready to go. All gassed up. This should be exciting. Thank you. Don't fall out of there. Hey, and welcome to the book. Action. <laughs> okay, we went to Columbus, Ohio today. We drove two hours to get to Blick. So we did buy some art supplies. So let's show you what they are. Okay, so this bag is pretty big. Okay, first thing, oh, this one, I can't wait to open it. It's a mystery bag. So we'll save that for last. Let's see. Okay. I, oh, I need some paper. First of all, I got the Strathmore Tone Tanned um, Sketch Paper. And. This is good because you can get your darkest contrasts and your highest highlights, your lightest highlights. So that's helpful with that. And I got the, I guess it's Craypaws Expressionist 
floral pastels. And I've heard them called or, uh, pastels and pastels, so I'm not exactly sure which one it is, but we can test these bad boys out on this tone paper if I can get them open. You know what we need? A trash can like right here. I'm kidding. We just made him move it. So Michael is my cameraman today. So everybody say hi, Michael. Hi, Michael. Okay, it's a set of 25 colors. Let's see if they're better than Dollar Tree. Let's try this one first. Oh, <laughs> World of difference than Dollar Tree pastels. Pastels. I'm not sure how you say it. So. Oh, wow. Those are nice. They're going very smoothly. They're very pigmented. That's really neat. I'm not sure how much these were. These are really nice. Uh, I'll see if I can find my receipt. There it is. So, it's hard to see anything because all I see is a flash in my eyes. I think the pad of paper was like $14. These were, oh, these were $23.99 at Blick. So I really like those. Those are really nice. I'm trying to put a lid on it and it slides in. So there's that again. Next, we found an eraser. I think this was like 85 cents or something. That's good for pencil drawings and colored pencils. Okay. paint markers and color pencils. You'll see in the video picking these out. I hope that's not making too much noise. Okay, so we have some color pencils. Um, I'm not sure what brand these are. Here it is. Okay, this is Blick. Blick brand. Those are really good. Oh, this is a blender. I'm going to save that for last. I did actually find a blender for color pencils. Pencils. Pencils! It's been a long day. I think these were like, if you bought six or more, they were like $2.05 each, something like that. I've never used a colored pencil blender before, so I'm not sure how that's going to work or how you do it. Ooh, look, see on this tan paper, on this white, you can barely see that. But on the tan paper, you can see it better. I did get one metallic gold one. I'm huddling them all up together, aren't I? And a white one. How does this work? This is a blender. I'll have to research this more. I'm not sure exactly how this, how you work that. So there's the single color pencils. They had a color pencil box that I really wanted. And I can't remember what brand it was. What was it? $265? The Whitmans. The Whitmans. Is that what they were? Okay, these are... Adding permanent acrylic canvas markers. So I guess they're like acrylic pens. What brand was that again? For that $265 box. Whitman's. Whitman's. Can't get these open. <laughs> 
see if I break it. Let's try another one. I see some perforation right here. There we go. Maybe. Okay, 20 minutes later, we finally got these. I exaggerate, it was only 18 minutes. Okay, so these are acrylic paints in pen form. So you have to shake. These are a little difficult. Here's the. Uh, Brand. These were $1.84 each. It's getting there. Here it goes. Oh, these would be nice for like doing details on paintings. Oh, look at this. There you go. These are nice. Let's try out. This is. Where's the color? Oh, this is pastel green, pastel blue, and I don't know, what is that? Venetian blue? Probably. I've never heard of that, but anyway. It takes some uh, dabbing to get it going. It's getting there. Like I said, these would be nice for detail work. Edging. Ooh, I like that color. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay, so you get the gist. And also got some pastel yellow and berry. So those are nice. I like those. That's going to have to dry. And let's see. I forgot about this. This was on clearance. It was. $19.99 it was on clearance for $10. It is the Tone Desert Brown. It's good for drawing. Pastel. I don't know where the video stopped. We had to go to dark mode. Apparently there was a glare. This is Tone Desert Brown by Rembrandt. It's good for drawing, pastel, acrylics, gouch, ink, and charcoal. Basically everything. Is there still a glare? I'm going to turn the light back on. Okay. There we go. This was the first thing I put in the cart. It was like right in the front door. And how many is in here? 50 sheets. And it's 21, I don't know what that is, that's basically an 8x10, oh it's nice and thick, so you could put acrylic paint on this, and, you know, you don't want to do an acrylic pour on this, oh that's nice, nice and thick, card stock like, Ooh, I'm glad I got that, I almost put that back, I'm glad I didn't, okay, so the last before the mystery bag, I could never find this in our area at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or any of the other art stores, which there's not much in our area. But this is the Strathmore pastel paper. It's 24 sheets. It's 18 by 24 inch. I could never find this. I was so happy to found this. I think this was $23. Yeah, $23.99. And it is toned. I hope I don't get that on there. Let me move this out of the way. I don't want to get paint on it. Okay. Is it all the same tone? Oh no, it's different tones. So there's like a creamy color, like this off white, and then like a creamy yellow. 
then it goes to uh, like a mocha brown and a green. That was another thing I liked about it. It had different colors in it. And a blue. And that's the back of it. Oh, I'm so happy to have found this. And it's big sheets too. I almost got a small one, but for a couple more dollars, I got the really big pad. Happy, happy, happy girl here. Okay, let's open up the mystery bag. I have no idea what's in here. It's called Monster Mash. And it was $15.85. Zoom in on this. Let's see what was in here. Should I dump it all out or pull them out one at a time? I'll do it one at a time. No, I'll dump it all out. No, I'll do it one at a I don't know. Here, let's just dump it all out. Well, I didn't have to buy an eraser. <laughs> There's a little eraser right there. Little baby. A little bee baby. Oh, nice heavyweight little pencil sharpener. It's like metal. I've never seen one like that before. Another eraser. <laughs> oh, look at this. What is this? Monster Mini Scented Highlighters. I'll take those to work. <laughs> People want to be smelling my files all day. <clears throat> well, this says it was $4.99. Watch me tear it. I, you know, I really wish I could have got all those little bags that were there. Yeah. Or there's probably like six or seven. All right. So, okay. So I'm going to smell these before we move on. I'm going to stick it up my nose. All right, let's see. Of course, I have a brown paper bag. It's not going to look that great. I really don't smell like anything. Well, a slight berry scent on that one. Do they have names? They're name. Oh no, oh, no. they're not named. That's the name brand. That's a little bit of a grape smell. Anyway, hmm. there's scented highlighters. Barely scented highlighters. Next in that mystery bag are monster set of 12 graphite pencils. And cool. I almost bought some graphite pencils and I didn't. So, okay, and then a small Strathmore 24 sheet 4x6 drawing pad. I almost bought one of these too and I didn't. That's pretty neat. I mean, I, the couple of things that I almost bought and did not were in this uh, mystery bag. So I guess it was meant to be. Well, in packaging. Packaging just kicks my ass all the time. I don't really want to tear it. I'm going to have to. There it goes. Twelve in here. I have to sharpen them. I was going to test them out on this paper. And they have the racers at the end and little monsters on it. I like those. And the graphite. So that's my mystery bag. Besides that, I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty cool. All right, so I uh, hope you enjoyed our trip to Blick, and we spent $112.81 at the Blick in Columbus, Ohio. That's a wrap. Thank you. Come back.